Hi YouTube, Troy the Full Setup here, back with another video today, and today we have another one of the ongoing case build, um, and I have a new processor for you, and if, you, if you've come just to see the unboxing and the installations, please skip on further in the video, and I will have to apologise, I'm starting to use my Nexus 5X with a camera because I can uh, plug my microphone into it, um, and I didn't quite have it running how I wanted it the other day, so it's not of the best quality, but it will show you enough so you can see it all. So, the processor that we're looking at today is the Athlon AMD 840. It got announced last year, but you've only been able to get it over the last month or so, and there's a whole host of FM2 Plus um, Athlon processors coming out. Now, these ones need um, a discrete GPU. They don't have anything built in. You will have to buy a GPU, but the thing is, if you're looking at the APU processors, if you want to get a good overclock out of the APU, you can't overclock this one anyway, but if you want to get a good overclock out of um, an APU, you have to disable the integrated GPU anyway. So if you're looking at something anywhere between 860, 870 or 880K, um, they're definitely the ones to buy over the equivalent Athlon that comes with a bolt on graphics. Um, I know it means you might have to just buy a cheap graphics solution until you can afford a nice car, but in the long run you'll appreciate it. So that's the reason. Now, I have been saying for ages on my channel that I'm going to be doing maybe an 870 or 880K, and I am. I'm still going to be doing that within the next few weeks. Um, anyone that's been looking at it recently, I sort of built this custom case, spray painted it, um, but it was only an £18 case that I bought, so it's incredibly limited. Um, I've only got an 80mm fan extraction, apart from my power supply, pulling a little bit of air out, um, and also I can't really get much storage in it. I've managed to squeeze a couple of 2.5 inch drives at the bottom, so as much as I do love this and there's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears, I'm, I'm going to need a new case, I think, before I go up to um, like an 870 or 880K because you do need to put a lot of cooling on it. So back to this processor, um, the X4840, um, £50 at some places, picks up for 40 on eBay, really good deal. Um, it's also 65 watt TDP as well because the plan with this, I'm going to have it in the case for about a month. Um, and then it's going to go in my John's Bay build downstairs so I can put a nice small cooler. Um, the video shows the installation of a stock cooler, but I've got my custom made cryo rig cooler like, um, that I bought and spray painted to go over the channel and have a look at that. Um, and this is based on the Kaveri platform as well. Comes in at 3.1 gigahertz, a little bit lower than some of the other FM2 range, um, with a boost at 3.8. Now, there is an 845 coming out within the next few weeks, which um, starts at about 3.5, 3.6, still only boosts to 3.8. 65 watt TDP, but it only has two megabytes of cache where this has four, so you um, sort of have to make a decision through that. Might even compare them, but anyway, enough chatting of why I've picked this processor um, and why I've got it. You know it all now. Um, I'm going to take you in for a closer look, and you can see it unboxed. And I'm just going to show you how to install the stock cooler as well. So here is the box, as you can see um, it's just in a white with the Athlon AMD um, on the front as well because on a lot of websites this is shown in like a black box as well so that's what I was expecting but it's white um, also like my old AMD CPU um, then we've just got AMD on the side there um, and we just have a few little bits and bobs, no specs oh, and then we can see it there, the X4 FM2 Plus and here we have the X4 840 uh, Max Turbo, 3.8 gigs um, and a base 3.1 as well. Um, and I am just going to install the stock cooler. I might mention that earlier in the video for now while I set up, but then I'll be putting my aftermarket cooler on afterwards. I'll just put my strap on. So then we can get in here. Oh, and yes, this model is for megabytes of cache as well, because there's a little confusion about that online. I've seen a few people thinking that it's only two megabytes. So I just need something to get into it. I'm going to show you how to install this stock cooler as well for anybody interested in that. Normally really easy as well to stock coolers. They've normally always got thermal paste applied to it as well. So we'll have a little look. We're only going to find out when we get in the box. So what have we got in here? I don't know if this is the new updated cooler. It doesn't look like it to be. No, this doesn't look like the new updated cooler. It's a CPU. So we have some general instructions not really a knock on that. Is there anything about installing the yeah you've got your general how to install the cooler let's have a look at the cooler so here we have a really small fan I don't know what that is like a 40 50 millimeter, millimeter fan and then we have some thermal paste as well this is looking very much like the one I took out the AM1 system and then we look like you just click that sorry to get a shot clip that over the side so there we go and here is the CPU itself get an Athlon sticker as well so here it is as you can see we've got the Athlon X4 FM2 Plus hasn't got the model number written on it um, but 
I should remember, I always just put it back in the box I took it out from. And it is the PG. Is that the pin grid already? There we go. There's all your little pins. So, not really a lot to show when opening a CPU. Once you've seen one, you've sort of seen them all. So, the most important thing really now is to go and get this installed. So, the motherboard I'm using here, for anyone that hasn't seen on the channel, is a, an Asus A60HM Plus motherboard. Um, now, this is going to be really easy. For anyone that's not installed this before, you haven't got to worry about the thermal paste. Putting thermal paste on is easy anyway. So the most important thing is, let me just figure out, let's have a look at which corner it is first. You'll see somewhere on there, there will be a little triangle. So find the little triangle, you know which corner it is. Funny shot here. Find the little triangle on the CPU. Make sure the arm is up. And just pop that into place, there we go. That simple. And then put the arm down. And as for the cooler, it's a PWM fan as well. I wasn't expecting that. Um, it's got horrible cables on it and everything, but it is a PWM fan. Now, I did size this up silly before because you can see, look, this is sliding everywhere. And we're like, oh, God, do I have to line it up just right? And you don't really. It just sort of sits right in where it's supposed to be. Take the cable out of the way. And then you'll see there's two pins. Literally just clip it over, clip it on one side, and then it's already clipped on the other, and just pull it down. There we go, simple, that easy. Oh, and obviously, plug your fan cable in, and that's it, it's done. So, I'm obviously going to be busy setting this all up now, anyway, getting everything all ready, then. Come back a couple of weeks, all over the next few weeks, loads of gaming videos, we can see what the CPU runs at.